Hello and welcome back to this new video. And first, I just want to say thank you for everybody that has subscribed to my channel. If you have seen my first video, I will link it somewhere. Uh, I was wondering if anybody is ever going to watch my videos, but now actually somebody's watching my videos and there are almost 300 subscribers at the moment of uh, filming this video. And it makes me so happy that there are people who are interested in these things and are interested in um, improving their seat and improving the connection with their horse and everything. So thank you. That's all I wanted to say. And uh, if you're new here, uh, remember to subscribe so you don't miss my new videos. So today we are going to talk about our hands and our connection with the bit. And um, I'm actually not going to talk about the actual position of, uh, of our hand. I will make another video about that. I'm actually going to talk about the prerequisites. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Um, but anyway, that are going to um, help to achieve a good connection with the bit. So, uh, it's all about our seat and the way that we are following the horse's movement. So, if we can't follow the horse's movement, we really cannot achieve a good connection with the bit all that is happening in our seat is going to affect our hand and our connection with the bit. So the basic element of a good hand really is a good stable seat and the ability to follow the horse's movement with our seat and especially from our pelvis. If we have restrictions in the mobility of our pelvis or if we are too tense or if we are um, bouncing in the saddle or anything like that, it's going to affect our hand. And what is really, really important is to have a good balance. If we are not in balance, in the saddle, then we might be hanging on to, on to the reins or squeezing with our legs or stuff like that and it's going to affect the hand. I have many other videos about uh, bouncing in the saddle and uh, um, improving our seat, so remember to check them if you haven't already. So riding is all about connection with the horse and it really is all about feeling and especially with our hands we need to be able to feel so we need to have enough relaxation because if we are you can try this that you really uh, squeeze your squeeze your fist and uh, uh, contract your shoulders so uh, this is going to make it so much difficult to be able to feel what is happening in the um, in the bit and feeling the bit so it's really important that we can keep our fingers relaxed and also our shoulders relaxed we need to have stability in our core and also in our uh, shoulder girdle but um, we still don't want to have stiffness in there and uh, too much uh, tension. So that's really something we need to work on. So we don't, we are stable, but we are not tense. And we always want to keep, want to be thinking forward with our hands. So we are not holding back or holding the horse or uh, just uh, pulling back but we are always supple with our hand, and always following the horse's movement and the horse's um, head and neck movement. I'm not saying that we should be doing like this. This is not good either, 
but just this little suppleness that you can feel the horse's mouth and the bit with your hands. And I'm also not saying that we should be, you know, uh, just throwing the reins away. That's not good either, because we really need to have that connection with the bit. But just thinking forward or thinking that you're always pushing your hands forward, even if they're not really like going forward. So you think that you have like a wall here and then you're pushing a little bit your hands towards the wall. That's going to help to keep that uh, thinking forward feeling in your hand without throwing it all away. So this is the first video of uh, connection with the bit and our hand. This is such a big subject that I will make other videos about this. So I'll see you in the next one.